Hey guys, before the video starts, I have a little announcement. Finally got the stickers in person. This is what they look like. Go buy them. They should be in the description already. You already know I'm about to put this all over that table. And final thing, don't be racist. And if I see anyone being xenophobic in my comments, just so you know, my monolids are watching. You ain't slick. I'll block you. All right, enjoy. Bye. Hello, Bidgets. My name is Face Mask because I expect every one of you to have one in this day and age. This video is a little bit different because we haven't done vlogs in a little bit on this channel. But if you didn't know by now, which means you clearly don't follow my Twitter, which means you should, my college, NYU, has changed its course to all online classes now because some bitch named Coronavirus decided to like, you know, step its way into Manhattan and Columbia was like, no, no, we're closing. Every other college was like, no, no, we're closing too. <laughs> Harvard said, we're all going away, even though there's nothing in Boston yet. And NYU finally decided, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll agree too. So right now it is Tuesday, March 10th. My spring break was supposed to start this Friday and last a week, but I'm gonna be taking online classes until March 29th, I think. And they will tell us on March 23rd if this is gonna be extended or like, NYU is gonna be completely shut down and just be online for the rest of the semester. So I'm gonna take you through this journey of going through a outbreak throughout the world. Also, I'm wearing a bucket hat indoors because my hair is currently going through it. I just took a shower and I looked at it and I was like, mm, it looks green and I'm too lazy to dye it back yet because I'm not gonna be showing myself to the public for a long time. Those blinds are gonna stay closed for the rest of eternity. My dad said, you're not gonna use that car. You're not going shopping. I'm not even gonna go get gas anymore. I'm being quarantined by my family, and that's fine with me because I get to stay home and eat Chinese food all day. But I know a good amount of you guys have been asking me about my major and how the classes are at NYU, and midterms were coming up this week, and I was gonna do a study with me video, but it seems as though that's been pushed back too, so I'm just gonna show you what happens throughout this journey. Currently, I have to be finishing one of my writing exercises for XBOS, which is Advanced College Essay. So we're gonna see how long this takes because it is 11, 16 p.m. and I haven't done anything. So how online classes work for us at least is we're gonna be all going on something called Zoom. It's basically like a Discord and a Skype and a Google Hangouts. I'm just realizing how amazing a sponsorship between Zoom and every YouTuber in college would have been. Zoom, you missed out on a great opportunity and i still have to show up on time so my classes start at 10 30 a.m tomorrow kind of seems like i should be getting a refund because i signed up for person to person classes they haven't told us anything about getting refunds but i'm also not paying for housing for a good amount meal plans too i expect a little bit of money back because y'all made me pay full tuition for a reason and i'm not getting what's worth the full tuition at the moment. Also, because some people are going home to California, if they have an 8 a.m. class, they technically have to wake up at 5 a.m. in California, which is also not fair. So here's the homework I have to do by tomorrow. I have to read this article. Let's see how long this is. Oh God. By the way, if you've used up all of your free um, articles because New York Times is a bitch, just open an incognito window, paste the link again, and there you go. I also have to read this one and then this one. And they're all like 10 pages, so one moment. So I ended up reading um one of her articles. I'm gonna get eight hours of sleep. I'm gonna wake up at 8.30, read the next two articles, be on time for my physics lecture at 10.30 a.m. After that lecture, I'm gonna spend the next two hours writing my essay and then have it prepared for class. Good night, see you tomorrow. Rise and shine. Don't talk about it. I have an online class about physics that's gonna last until 12, 20. There is a lecture, so I need to go take notes for a little bit. Realized by this example is that we had example one was a kinematics problem. We're currently on a five minute break, so I got Girl Scout cookies and two oranges. I still have an hour left of this class. You wanna say hi? Hi. I am the result of a coronavirus <laughs> Book it at gang. Book it at gang. So it's currently 1.55 p.m. right now, and I haven't done... Oh, <laughs> sorry, just appreciating my skin. I have not read the two other articles, and I still have to do the essay. That's due at 4.30 because my English class starts then, but I also have a still a moving class between 2.30 and 4.20. We don't do much in that class, so I'm just gonna do it during that. I've only eaten 
shortbread cookies and oranges so I should probably get some food except my dad has quarantined me in this room because I'm not allowed to leave actually I just read my email and it says I'm not going to be having English class but I still have to turn it in on time so I technically end at 420 don't mind me I'm reading while I'm also in the zoom meeting this is my class now $200 a class let me remind you that is how much it costs to go to NYU when Khan Academy is free my teacher is making us unmute ourselves and to turn the camera on so you already know. <laughs> These are my two best friends in my class. So my classes are done for today, and now I have to do homework for tomorrow. All my midterms are canceled still, and apparently who just declared coronavirus a pandemic? And NYU said it's getting increasingly likely that it's gonna be an online semester because a lot of colleges are already doing it. But like, I brought one suitcase home, and there's a lot of shit back in my dorm. We'll wait and see. This is day two of being quarantined. Hello vlog. So I've been finishing some homework because I have class tomorrow at 10.30. And I was talking with some of my friends and we're all convinced that we're not going to be going back for NYU. This is going to be the rest of our semester, just online classes. Because Temple University has already gone online. UPenn has gone online. A lot of other colleges, like, I don't I don't have to knit list them. You can look them up. And it really sucks because 20% of NYU is international and it's... It's kind of hard to get a flight back when there's no flights going out. It also sucks because we're still technically paying housing even though we're not supposed to be on campus anymore. And I'm going to probably go back and pack up all my stuff too. That being said, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the more racist things that have been going on because of this virus. I mainly try not to become political or like talk about issues on this channel because it's mainly for shits and giggles. And I mainly do it to entertain, but sometimes things just bug me to an extent that like I should talk about it. So I saw this post on Instagram, I'm not gonna bother showing it because it's, it's gonna be blurry. Here it is. And I don't know who posted that, but I'm gonna assume they're in a school or in like, or in college. I really hope that they get punished because like, they're stupid. That's all I'm gonna say. Also, don't be racist towards Asians. Don't stop taking your family to Chinese takeouts every Friday just because they're Chinese. Like, I don't get where the fear comes from. Like, if they were from Wuhan, they would have had it already. It's been like, what, months? Also, no one in China can leave at the moment. I remember we were at the NYU library trying to study, and it was me and my friends and these two other people who had masks on, and they happened to be Asian, and they were in the elevator. And when they walked in, there was a guy next to me who was a little bit older, you know, clearly an adult, and he goes, Oh my fucking god. <laughs> he just whispers that and like turned bright red. I wasn't paying attention, but that's what my friend said. And like clearly he got uncomfortable because of the mask. And if you had a basic education, you would know that the mask is supposed to prevent you from getting sick. Like they're not trying to get it from you, bitch. Stop thinking you're so special. But like I haven't really seen anything else happen personally, but I've heard many stories and I'm not gonna bother talking about it because that's your own research. I'm not here to mother you. But yeah, this xenophobia is really not fun because you know damn well it doesn't happen to an Italian. Ben Anyways, I'm gonna finish my reading. I just remember this too. There's not a lot of public schools and that I know of at least that are, you know, being made online. Granted, I know it's hard, but like still, and it's not just public schools, like public universities are more resistant to turning online than private. Then I will see you guys tomorrow when I have class. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't do that right. Good morning! I have class in like five minutes and I have to show my face and I have to look like this. Oh my god, freaking freaking stupid. Look at what I fucking look like. Trashed day. <laughs> this is my audio class, and look at my professor's setup. Like, damn. Damn, boy. Because of the changes that have been happening recently, and so I'm not excited. Like, this might be like the end of like my freshman experience. So I'm like kind of sad that I'm not going to leave the city. One benefit from having online classes is that I get to stay at home and just eat good food and study. But also you need to take a look at this. Look at my background. Zoom kind of lit though. Oh, my daily FaceTime is coming. Good morning. Good morning. It's four o'clock. Where is she? She's not going to come. She's unloyal. All right, let's debrief our class. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> oh my god, I can invite anyone in NYU. I can see who's in a class right now. That's so weird. This is day three of being quarantined. Hello? Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome to my Zoom class. Today, we are going to be teaching how to make a famous TikTok. Oh, okay. So, so you brought me as the guest. Yes, the first guest. step, you have to be white. If you are female, you must have a crop top and dance oddly sexually if you are a male you must take your shirt off you can speak on the lesbian portion of tiktok okay yeah no i'm gonna speak on the gay That's male the if cringy lesbian possible <laughs> if you are a gay male you have to talk about porn and you have, you have to talk about 
being in a relationship. I think I'm the straight females of TikTok. What? <laughs> oh, Caroline has a question. She raised her hand. No, I'm lowering your hand. <laughs> do, 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 It's Corona time. Do, 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 do. Everyone. I want to draw. Oh my God, so weird. So update, I got an email this morning from NYU that says we can't no longer have guests over, like overnight or just for the day. Doesn't apply to me because I'm not even there anymore. But also, I think five other colleges just turned online for the rest of the semester. And NYU is a big school and we're like, what, in the middle of the city? So they're probably gonna end up being online for the rest of the semester. But they were very reluctant to put us online in the first place. Like, a lot of colleges already did it beforehand. And if they don't tell us soon enough, like, hell could break loose because one, a bunch of people from other places that are international have to fly home. And if they fly home before our college announces that we're ending the whole semester, then they have to fly back and get their stuff. So like, what are you doing? Just put us online already. You know it's gonna happen. I'm lucky enough to be able to drive back because it's only an hour away. But some people can't even go back to their home because Trump stopped some of the flights to Europe. All of today's classes are done. I just have to do some homework for tomorrow, which I'll be taking a quiz on something called, what was it called? Grade scope? Never heard of that before, but I haven't heard of Zoom before this. I still have weekly quizzes in physics, but I don't have anything for midterms yet because they've all been pushed back. I'm just still thinking like, this is $200 a class. Like I'm paying for Khan Academy. And NYU still says the dorms are open, which means we're paying for it, even though majority of people have gone home already. I also saw that my friends who were either at Tisch for acting or um, photography, also people who are in music, all the rooms are closed, so you can't even practice. What's the point of even going then? Really sucks for them, because they can't even get anything done. It's all kind of gone to shit. And I also watched Contagion yesterday. I don't know why I would. I went to sleep at 3 a.m. because of it. We'll see what happens in a day. I'm gonna go edit some videos, so I'll see you tomorrow. Never mind, I'm back. I'm sitting here trying to take a good nap. I get an email from the president of NYU. Spring break's about to start, but at this point, none of us should contemplate recommencing in-person classes before April 19th. What's the point of going back for a month? Just, just end it. And this is their way of saying, oh, you're not gonna get a refund because you'll have in-person classes at the end. They want us to just be okay with online, even though that's not what we paid for. It's not what we signed up for. And yes, I know I'm already very lucky to even be in college and don't even get me started on privilege. I'm not gonna debate that today. Oh, well, I hope all the business students are researching into how we can get money back because you can tell us, okay? I just draw. Oh my god, it looks terrible. For anyone wondering, it's a face mask. I just worked out in my own room because my dad doesn't want me to go to the gym anymore. And while I was showering, I just randomly got the thought that like, I don't see a lot of creators talking about the racism going on in like the world because of coronavirus. I don't know, it's just a thought. And now I'm curious as to how many comments I'll get from people accusing me of having the virus simply because of my monolid. If I see one, I'm gonna pin it, just so you know. And I also realized I left my mic back at my dorm and one of the things I was gonna paint for my friend. I left all of my clothes too, and I don't have the will to drive up there and come back just for two things. But I'm probably gonna have to go back anyways though, just because I don't think we're gonna be coming back April 19th, but I've done all my homework. Tomorrow I have a physics quiz, and tomorrow's gonna be the last day I film this because <laughs> I'm not vlogging a month. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. How did I manage to wake up two minutes before my class? I don't know, but I'm gonna get on my physics lecture. Okay, so like having some kind of like skeleton to like write on would be awesome. Leave that up, yeah. What's that? Leave this up so I can write this. this well, it seems as though my class just ended randomly. Five minutes into class, it just broke. Every single recitation ended, according to my friends. So I'm just gonna eat breakfast because I can't stand that class. First of all, our lecture is divided into like five recitations. My teacher had difficulty with his class, so we were sent to another one. And in that class, as you heard, this person was demanding the teacher to give us the notes, or rather, her the notes, because no one else cared. They were like, could you just leave it on the screen before we start? I can't learn if it's not in front of me. And I'm like, that is not how you learned in class at all, because the teacher would write it and you copy it. She said, could you just send a PDF each time before the class starts? I'm like, then what's the point of learning? It also slowed us down by quite a lot because she copied two pages worth of stuff. My sister's coming tomorrow, um, and I don't know how long she's gonna stay, but she's driving up, and she said she needs to take some toilet paper home because everything is sold out where she is. Our dorm told us for anyone leaving for spring break or for the whole period of remote instruction, please remember to empty the fridge, take out your trash, and lock your suite. And I swear to God, if I see food in the fridge when I come back, 
like a month later even though I specifically told them please take stuff out because it's my fridge I'm gonna throw hands you already know I'm making a roommates video in the summer I'm just waiting because I don't want to do it now I want a fucking refund I really want my money back. Business students, look into this, please. Make this your final project, getting our refund back. But yeah, that's how my week went. I was in New York three days ago. I don't think these bitches realize they're unmuted right now. You're all unmuted. Well, the class started again. I don't know when, but I joined in. Everyone was unmuted. It was chaos. This is what it's gonna be like for, what, the rest of the semester? I'm gonna have to get used to it. That's all I have, I guys. I'm not really gonna make more vlogs about being home because of corona i just thought maybe it'd be nice to show a little perspective because i bet a lot of other people are in the same situation it sucks because you know this is our first year as freshmen and we don't even get the second semester like to enjoy it in the city and i know that sounds like a first world problem but guess what it's still a problem also my hair is looking pink in this camera which it's not anyways that's all i have for you guys today if you enjoyed give it a like leave a comment down below subscribe for more videos every week turn on my notifications because i might be posting more as i have nothing to do now besides stay at home and as always i love you guys and everything is less than three